Hey peeps, Pinkle16 here and another blooper video of Simon Three's the commentator ever. He calls this a blooper, but it's kinda like the Christmas special ones, a spin-off. Also yes, this is another one of Simon Three's covers. This is his Halloween special, which links to the second one. The second one only barely links up to this by by sapping a few jokes from it. This is the original one, and it was made in Time's not really relevant, well, you know, in the case of what specific time it is of day, 12pm, it doesn't matter to him because he'll just suddenly change it a a randomly. Why would you do that in the rain? Why would you guys even consider it if it's raining? Decorate the interior! You're already wet probably because you've been standing there for a good 10 minutes. Oh well, too bad. Why should they be concerned about squeakiness when Mario is the one who swims underwater for several periods of time because he doesn't drown? Why would they go out in the rain and decorate? The thumbnail of this video is another character scene where characters speak for one line. I'm pretty sure if this is gonna happen then I'm pretty sure then they're not gonna actually decorate it. They're not going to because, you know, th we're, we're too concerned with making people know who these characters are. As in these actual people need to be in, you know. Like see, Mario did the jitty there, and that's fine. Because he's standing, but something like looping the clip, like cut it, cut it out, and then do the jitty. Like, you say that twice. Yes, we've got to reiterate the fact that Pascal's dead, even though everyone can see him. You might find me useful for saying one line that has maybe one quirk and then never seeing me again, you know? Who does he actually scare? Also, welcome to the next character scene, guys. Don't worry, Luigi Fan, he's not going to actually do anything. Because why would he? He's one of Starman 3's characters. If it's not Starman 3, or someone important, like Mario Mario Father 321, or maybe Mario Star- Actually, wait a second, why is Mario Star the same 64? He should be 92 by now! Didn't Blooper 41 happen? I mean, yeah, 41 happen? I'm thinking it was 42. Silly me. If it's someone unimportant, like Pascal, or Mario, nothing's gonna happen to them except they're maybe gonna say a line. Actually, seriously, why is Mario Star the exact same person? He changed last video. Oh, well, we know when Blooper 41 took place after this one. Also, next Super Mario Glitchy 4 appearance. Desperately trying to cover up the fact that he was asked asking, n actually begging SMG4 to put him in every video. <laughs> M 
more decorating! Even though that's not actually going to happen. Right at this very moment. See, it's another character scene. This is a thumbnail for the video. Probably later when it's not raining. <laughs> Don't give Captain Candy that year. I'm kidding. See what I mean about characters say one line and then they're never seen again? This scene is the very representation of that, along with other scenes in this series where the characters say one thing and then they're never seen again. If you see a lot of characters in one scene and they're all masked together, expect them to only say one line and then they're never going to be seen again. Characters that are usually important to a scene, like in Blooper 41 Sigma with Sinbad and Mario Mario 6 6 6 blah, 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 6 times 5, well, it seems like that are relevant to a specific joke, so they might say one more line, but then they'll never be seen again after that. It's, is Mario Dillon really that dumb to uh, relate everything to Christmas? I don't think so. Not even the actual guy was like that, so... Matt is still random to this day, and I wouldn't prefer it any other way. Seriously, what's with Mario Dillon constantly relating everything to Christmas? The actual guy's not like this, so why should the script be? Thank you, Crimson. You've replicated everyone's opinions in one statement. Also remember, Runner, yeah, his video is gonna forever be tainted. And remember, Mario fan, yeah. I don't think these guys were actually relevant at the time. Uh, put me in the video, maybe. No, don't bring that up. It, it don't, don't bring that up. Seriously, what kind of continuity break was that? When that video happened. Why would anyone want to remember that terribly awful video that broke every line of continuity in this entire world? Like something like Mario Fan there where the head just suddenly changed. That's not something I endorse because you should be able to record the scene for a long period of time if you're going to have script lines like that. And especially if you're going to make script lines like that, time it, then record it and have him stand there for a bit, you know? Surely it's not hard to do that. I'm pretty sure you all mean the interior, because right now it's raining. So now it's 2pm? Yes, they did mean the interior, thank god. Also, in these sets of videos, we're going to be learning how to edit texture packs. Yay! It's not like it's just a gradient effect. And where are they? Oh yeah, that's right, they're all in the cupboard. They're probably upstairs! Or somewhere else. They're not dead. Yeah, remember when we were bringing up the spy suit? Yeah, he uses it for this. 
To be honest, it is kind of relevant though. Wow. You really couldn't re-record that because you had Brad lag problems. This is dressing up, obviously. And they're gonna clarify this because, oh dear, did they turn evil? Everyone apparently thinks, even though it's just a costume. Crash the event? You were part of the event! Mario was just filler for you. Every dumb fan is Luigi, apparently. Seriously, wouldn't people be re be uh, uh, wouldn't people be aware of the fact that Dementia is gone and the fact that this is supposed to be a happy Halloween celebration? Luigi should be aware that they're not evil. Apparently, Luigi isn't part of the hive mind because he would have been aware when Starman Three made the suit the first time. Also, I think this is the last time he ever uses this, which is why I didn't. Me I don't think I mentioned that when he used it the last time in Blooper Bloop 40. I think I did, but, you know, I'll clarify that in text. It's not really the last time in Blooper 40 that you see it. It's here, because he doesn't really use it again after this point. Well, yes, they did scare you for the completely- for the most stupidest reason ever. I mean, Luigi was part of the whole fourth dimension adventure. He saw Dementio die. So, Dementio wouldn't be there to possess Starman 3 and Mario Mario again because he simply doesn't exist anymore. You know that Luigi- that no- Wow. You know that Dementio is dead too. You were there when Starman 3 defeated Dementio, because let's not forget the fact that Luigi fan was supposed to. My guess? Again with this my guess thing! We see that Starman 3 and Mario Mario are in costume, so obviously they made these up. Seriously, what's with this I guess thing? I guess is if you're speculating something that you don't see. S Luigi sees it right in front of him, so why is he saying my guess? <laughs> Pascal Murray is going to be the host for some reason. And by all, we're gonna meet, we're gonna cherry pick a few people. Because remember that character scene? Yeah, that's way too many for Simon 3 to keep track of. Right now, he only cares about him, Mario, Mario 5, 4, Mario, and Luigi, and maybe Alberto, and maybe Pascal. That's it, everyone else is a douchebag. Remember the fact that he didn't exactly create Mario Star 64 with the fact that he was gonna release it afterwards in time? Yeah. And whoever, and whoever else is going to be relevant is going to be relevant. By the way, if you're not really noticing, SM3 changed the eyes back to, and the rest of the textures, back to the regular textures. Uh, it's not this video, but in a couple videos time, uh, Starman 3 is going to quit using the HD eyes because he feels it doesn't fit the polygon your version of Mario that we keep filming. Because it looks too HD for, Mar for Mario's specific model. Which makes sense because it, it does kind of look like the model just doesn't fit with the textures. So, most of us prefer to use the textures that the game usually supplies us. Considering that this texture pack clearly is only utilizing the castle, they forgot to put the eyes in. 
since future videos do show us some three using them, so it's not this video where he gives them up, but a later video. In fact, I think it's a Christmas special. But SM3 does give them up at some point. It's definitely before my videos, because the the the, the, vi my, the videos where I'm in them, he totally gave up on it. Also, let me go back. Also, I don't know what game you're talking about, Alberto. We don't really know what game you're talking about, because... That game could be any game in Season 1 and 2. You did a lot of random crud in Season 1 and 2. It's not really... It's, it's that. What does that mean specifically? You guys did a whole bunch of random crud back then. What does that mean? Look who, look who rated freesoundeffects.com. Or whatever it is that has free sound effects. Hi, I'm here for maybe the last time in these videos because you hate me. A Halloween costume. Shouldn't you be aware since the castle's decorated now? Pretty sure you could have gotten that implication from when you walked in. You're that person I hate now. Oh, apparently he's not a YouTube ranger now. Look what was starting to happen around this time, guys. Also, MM6 times 5 was probably the first Australian in the group before I came along. Which is why I never really made a milestone, except for being the first female Australian, you know? It, it was... So, a lot of things were already taken before I came along, so it, that, with their whole milestones thing. Yeah, we got a ex-member of YTR now. Blood Moon Mansion. I think this thing changes name like three times or something. Not really sure, but this thing does change name quite a bit. We finally learned that we could retexture other levels too! This is exactly why uh, Mario Mario Father 2 one got sick of um doing Super Mario 64 things because he couldn't retexture, like, he kept retexturing SM64 and it just felt exactly the same. It was just SM64 retextured, so he, he got tired of it. That's why we didn't, that's why he didn't like doing that. So why are you overusing it now? It's just a name. Seriously, Pascal is completely solid. Why should anyone think he's a ghost? If everyone can see him, who would even understand that he's a ghost at this point? Someone who gets really close to him and then someone actually puts his hand through him and is like, Hey, what's actually going on with you? And he's like, Hey, I'm gonna tell you my greatest secret. I'm actually a ghost. Wow, I couldn't have told that, considering you look like you're completely solid. Oh, come on. This is supposed to be a game about scaredness. Enzo acts like a kid, when in reality he probably wouldn't. Also, for some reason, I could not find that boo texture. We know it's Blood Moon Mansion. You told us! See, yes, trollboos are now a species. Let's cut the recording. No, it just looks like a better interior version of a haunted house. It actually looks like a really nice interior house. I think people would actually more want to live here more than they'd want to actually get away from it. 
Yes, we know that. It can be some random sound effect that I either got from freesoundeffects.org or com or whatever, or something I randomly recorded, which I'll get into in a moment. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that point. Yeah, I was about to say that it kind of looks like a red herring, which is the whole point. And and, it, and Simon 3 is going to notice this, but not continuity errors in his own videos. Yes, we're going to remember that specific troll boo and then suddenly call them a species. There was a thing that Enzo was going on about at this specific point in time, where he would just call boos, no matter what boos were, troll boos. So yeah, that kind of went off into oblivion. Oh, we're just going to suddenly proclaim who goes first. Wasn't Pascal the host? Pascal could decide who goes first. Oh, Pascal being the host means nothing. <laughs> oh, no! There was no pastor when you walked here. So... What? What, what, why? Does anybody not get that? He was literally standing the first eight minutes without pasta, and now suddenly he's complaining about it? Oh. <laughs> ha, Mario. Mario got what? He's been here the whole time without any pasta, so why is he suddenly complaining about it now? <laughs> Luigi! Oh no! <laughs> what did Luigi do? This isn't Luigi's job. This is this is supposed to be part of the hide and scare game. I'm gonna blame Luigi for no reason for something that he never even did. Look what Mario's destiny was behind the door. He became even dumber. Oh. oh crud, I'm gonna get shot by Mario for a reason that's completely stupid. Oh. <laughs> Luigi's dead guys, now turn him into a ghost and who's apparently completely solid. Yeah. That's what you get for selling pasta? What's this suddenly turn into? Mario's drug trip? <laughs> I don't think Luigi can participate, he's dead. Wait, never mind, Pascal Mario's dead. Also, Mario proclaimed himself first, so why isn't why didn't Pascal Mario say anything about that? He's supposed to be the host. Apparently that gunshot didn't happen, guys. The, the gunshot to Pascal Mario never happened. Mario's destiny was that he became dumber. Luigi's gonna become even dumber. Oh. I actually know what's gonna happen and I'm gonna give context when it happens. Oh. Oh. Mamma mia. Oh. Okay. Uh. Do you know what that is? That is a siren from a vehicle. And you notice how low quality it sounds? Hold on, I'll, I'll play a little bit more of it. <laughs> this was Enzo's idea, obviously, because he keeps repeating it after the fact that this video was released. Enzo kept, and still probably to this day, keeps continuing that Hap, 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 Luigi is gonna, it has heard a siren noise. Around the time when calls would happen, Enzo's microphone would suddenly create 
uh, siren noise because of the fact that it was so ungodly loud and his microphone wasn't optimized for background noise. So whenever it passed, you would hear it. And I remember hearing it when I was in the group. They referred to it as the siren, but I'm thinking it's like a, a, the siren of a, a, you know, the siren of a vehicle. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can be all aware that it's that. For this video, they made the idea that Luigi should encounter the siren and go hap 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 at, at hearing the siren just because it's such a loud noise. Uh, I'm not sure why he's scared of the siren specifically though, because the siren isn't exactly doing anything other than being loud. And the fact that it's recorded under very low quality circumstances and the fact that they probably had to do this by chance, it, it, it's... It's... It's kind of weird, to say the, the least. It keeps cutting because this is Enzo's microphone and background noise. Typing! Oh god, look at, look at what the quality turned into. The sound's obviously repeating because he has to do it. Luigi's supposed to be the coward? Also, if you can't tell, Luigi's apparently meant to be whited out by the whole thing. Luigi's suddenly glowing, guys. And you're not concerned? Why did his clothes go white in that case, too? Seriously, couldn't you have just put his face as white? Luigi's glowing, guys. Something happened to him. Remember when we repeated that in, um, the second one because Sama 3 can't let go of jokes? Yeah, this is where it came from. A, a silly idea that they had at one point. <laughs> What's- when did this game suddenly turn into pranks? The whole point was that you go behind the door, you find your destiny, then you, you know, then you react to it, and then you see how scared you are after you come out. No one's been pulling any pranks, because that's the point. You're meant to be scared. Mario got unintelligence. Luigi got siren. No one's been pulling any pranks! Cyan is still blue. Yep, it was Enzo's idea. When did this suddenly turn into a pranking contest? Seriously, tell me, did anyone mention that this game was supposed to be about pranks? Also, to this day, and technically, like, if I was even still in contact, and so technically still went on about this for a very long period of time. It wasn't it wasn't incessant, but it whenever it was brought up he would not stop about it. Get over here! No, seriously, tell me, when did anyone see what he's wearing clothes? Why did they suddenly turn white? When did this suddenly turn into a pranking contest? Seriously. The hide and scare thing was, see your destiny behind the door. No one placed that destiny there, except maybe the the gods or maybe Pascal because he has magical powers like that. No one pranked anybody. Yes, obviously Enzo came up with it. Overused joke! Do I need to repeat it? I already did. I already have for all these videos, but it's not meant to be a joke. It's meant to be an emphasization of how much this constantly gets overused. Exactly. Wasn't Mario's gunshot uncalled for too? How is Luigi still alive? Will 
Alberto act as stupid? I don't know, maybe he will. They're all the same character anyway. Yes, Alberto is still apparently Japanese Luigi. We can't give him his own voice. And if we give him some of his voice, it's going to be some some attempt at eye pitch. You know, kind of thing. <laughs> Again with the whole thunder thing. It's... Lightning! Thunder is the sound of lightning. Lightning is the actual electric bolt. Who, ca who can't tell the difference of logic in real life here? Although in this case, it makes sense for him to be burned. Luigi's wasn't. I still hate that logic. You say the word, it suddenly happens. That's not what ha that that's not how life works. You don't say something and it suddenly happens. Pizza! Pizza falls from the sky. No, that doesn't actually happen. So why should thunder make you, you know, zap yourself? And that was very stupid logic. Why are you still continuing it? It's a common cartoon trip of say something and it happens and don't do it or else it does. But seriously, why should it affect them inside? Like, I'm pretty... Like, the destiny behind the door thing, I get that. But if they say it, then the thunder should affect the house, not them. Because thunder, li li lightning is in the sky. Also, watch how Mario Star's gonna be. It's Mario Star 64, yep, it's completely disregarded. Why am I saying watch? He's already said it. 